Hey everyone, Scott here. Got a quick update for you on interest rates. What is going to happen with interest rates? There's brand new information which has just come out. You need to know about it. So let me unpack it right now. So basically what came out just the other day was the inflation numbers. Now, of course, rates have been going up to combat inflation. Basically, cost of living going up uh, is no good. Prices can spiral out of control. You can get something called hyperinflation, which can bring a whole country down, right? So what they do is they jack up the interest rates to affect people's spending. People can't spend as much. That slows the economy down. Companies um, make less profit. Companies start laying people off. Unemployment rises. GDP or economic activity slows. It may even go into recession. And then basically what actually happens is prices start to level out or slow down or actually decrease. So What's actually been happening is we've been combating inflation. We're up around 7%, just a little bit above 7% at the peak. And we're actually down to 3.8% now. That's the latest number, which just came out. Economists everywhere were waiting for this number. Now it has gone up. So we were at 3.6%. We've now moved to 3.8%. It has gone up. However, it's gone up, but that does not mean that interest rates are going to go up despite what you're hearing. Now, a couple of points that you should know. Number one, the RBA set a forecast and for this month, they expected it to be at 3.8. So we're not above that. Now, if we had have seen 4%, 4.1%, 4.2%, we would 100% see a 25 basis point rate increase coming up in the August board meeting of the RBA. 100% we would have seen it. We didn't see it, uh, we've actually seen 3.8, which is exactly what the RBA forecasted where it would be. And they basically alluded earlier that, hey, if we come in at forecast, we're not going to jack the rates up. So there you go. Rates um, are not going to go up. Now, the inverse of inflation coming down is the economy crashing and going into recession. That is more so bad. You might say equally as bad. Many people would argue more so bad because this literally means people lose jobs. The economy goes into recession, companies start collapsing, people default on loans. The whole economic fabric can fall apart and we can go recession, then we can go depression and it might take a decade or two to actually get out of that. So what have we got on the side of economic activity? Well, we are in a per capita recession, which means when you divide the GDP across the population, that number is falling, it is going down. So that's a per capita recession. Overall, it's pretty flat. Economic activity is like, I think it was like 0.2 or 0.3% for the last quarter. That's basically flat. But the worrying factor is more and more government spending is needed to go into the GDP number. More and more government spending needs to go into the GDP figure to keep the GDP figure reasonable uh, and you know to keep the GDP number uh, from actually going into recession. So that's also a worry because you know private enterprise is not generating as much economic activity as what it used to, okay? So that's definitely a problem. Unemployment has gone up, it's only inched up. It's not really a big concern. And in fact, if you look at the forward forecast of the RBA, they want unemployment to be higher because if the interest rates are truly working, unemployment should be higher than where it is right now. In addition to that, they want house prices to come back and correct, or at least level off, and they're not seeing that. So they're not seeing unemployment skyrocket. They're not seeing recession, although uh, GDP is flat, and they're not seeing house prices get under control. And that's for a number of various factors, right, which I cover in other videos and you know hit like and subscribe follow check out my videos you know for more information to follow the economy property wealth and all of those really really good things that set you up for financial freedom um and i'd really love to hear from you do you think that interest rates will increase this year uh and basically for everyone that does leave a comment gonna run a prize for everyone uh, a 300 dollars gift voucher for everyone that does comment we'll throw you into a draw and announce the winner on our next video peace out guys take care